We will no longer have onerous, unworkable water regulations. Not only unworkable, but completely destructive of the viability of the very industry that is our key contributor in terms of export earnings. We're going to bring rigour and common sense to the hysteria surrounding climate change. Climate change policies in New Zealand have been driven by a tiny minority with loud voices who have no conception as to what are the consequences of their narrow, shallow ideas on the day-to-day -day functioning of the economy. I am the Minister of Resources. I look forward to leading the debate, changing the law, enabling gas and oil exploration, wealth development to take place yet again in New Zealand. Now, just to ensure, just to ensure that the other side of the House feels that's a little bit unbalanced, mining is coming back as well. We most certainly need those rare earth minerals. If we do not have coal and gas continuing to contribute to our power system, we're going to have blackouts, brownouts, we're going to have a power system that lacks security, riddled with risk, and it'll diminish the status of our nation as a first class, first world country. Fast track for aquaculture, fast track for mining, fast track for energy, fast track for infrastructure. That's the future coming in your direction. And people who want to boost productivity and resilience in New Zealand, you could not pick a better champion than my good self. Modesty forbids me to say much more.